So once the voucher for the bill is generated, we will be creating a payment for the same. Right. So go to the payment. This will again be initiated by the account section accountant who will create a payment and uh, send it for approval through the uh, hierarchy. So you will send it to the senior accountant and then it will go to the, it can go up to the commissioner based on the configuration in the system. Yeah. So here he can club and do a single payment for multiple bills. If not, he can do a one-to-one -one payment for each bill, expense bill that is there. Okay. So these are pending bills, contractor bill, supplier bill, and expense bill. So I'll choose the expense bill which I just made. I'm choosing a mode of payment as check. If it is RTGS, then the subledger used in this particular bill need to have the bank details as well. If there are no bank details attached or you know added to that subledger, you will not be able to do the RTGS because RTGS advice gets generated based on the bank information that is tagged tagged to that particular master. So, generate payment. Yeah. So all the information is fetched. The bill information is also fetched from the previous screen, so based on the selection that I have made, and uh, the fund also is tagged to the same fund which will, which which uh, the bill belongs to. So department is street tagged. So this is allowed to be modified based on the configuration in case inter-department payments are allowed. Okay. Similar to the similarly to the function as well. Okay. Now watch a date on date on which the payment is getting, and you user will have to choose the bank from which the payment will be going out. Okay. This is the account balance in this particular bank. Okay. In case partial payment is enabled, user can choose to do the partial payment here using this. Okay. Okay. So there will be a payment of 1000 rupees of property. So this bill will come for payment once again uh, if, the, if the partial payment is done for in, in the first instance. Okay. So this again, there's a workflow configured. Based on the configuration, it will go through the hierarchy. If not, user can choose to. For the demo purpose, we are just uh, uh, choosing create an approve. So it, it will directly approve the payment, which is like similar similar to what happens at the finance stage. Right? The only two data entry happens. So once the expense bill is uh, created in the source department or the source section, all the uh, information is automatically flowing through the voucher creation and payment creation. Okay. So this will be the payment voucher that gets generated or that is created for this payment section. Okay. Now the check assignment will happen. Same way. Fund e bank. I had, so we have chosen Allahabad Bank from which the payment was created. I chose it. It lists out all the uh, BPVs for which we, uh, all the payments which were approved, which were created and, and approved, and pending for check assignment. So I'll choose the uh, choose any of the thing. So I'll give one five zero. Uh, so this is the running sequence number or the check number from the series that you need to pick up from the master. So in the check master, we were we had created as a series or the check checkbook series as part of the check master, right? So we need to pick up one number from that and allot. Okay. You can do multiple uh, assignment also. Yeah. So once the check is assigned, you will generate a bank address. So bank address is basically the payment uh, uh, report itself, where in the pay name and the check number used for that will be displayed. Okay. Okay. That's on the check assignment. If it is RTGS yeah. mode of payment, then RTGS assignment number will have to be given in the similar manner. Okay. So on the expense flow. I think uh, now that budget check is not yet, it should get created. 